How to create your custom email template with Bravo. Hey everyone, and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to go ahead and actually create your very own custom template for your email marketing campaigns and so much more. Basically, it's going to be very, very easy and simple. And this is just going to help you by reducing the amount of work that you will do later on. So in the future, it's going to be much easier for you to uh, work on things basically so you can just create your template and then later you can just use it and actually just you know save a lot of time instead of creating it from scratch again and so uh, let's actually go ahead and get started and talk about how to create your own custom email template uh, basically you just need to go ahead and log into your Brevo um, account so just get to this dashboard basically and then from here we'll, we will need to just go ahead and click on campaigns here it should be on the left side so click on campaigns and we will just need to go to email because this is about the email templates uh now i do believe it's going to be the same for other things here that you can create templates for but we can just go ahead uh, and use the email because this is what this video is about if I can just delete this, I don't really need it right now. Okay, great. So right now, sorry about that. Okay, so right now, uh, what we need to do is actually go ahead and create an email campaign. So for the first time, we can actually go ahead, uh, or I mean, we will be required for us to put in some sort of sort of work because at the end of the day, we just want to create the template and then use it easily. So you can create folders here and have multiple uh, campaigns in one folder and stuff. It doesn't really matter to, to this video right now, but just create an email campaign. Uh, give it a name. So example camp. Uh, and then we can just do regular or AB testing. For AB testing, you would need to actually subscribe and it's going to help a lot. And so if you actually did, uh, upgrade it does it, it does help a lot because it's going to have uh, people or some sort of groups where they test version a against b and then the best one with the best engagement is actually going to be the one that prevails and be sent out automatically later on but not our concern right now we just stick to the regular give it a name and click on create a campaign here so after we create our campaign here, we will need to go ahead and set up uh, a lot of things here. So first and foremost is going to be the sender information, which is going to be you. Uh, so you will need to go ahead and click on manage sender. And then from here, you will need to enter the email address that you want to use as the sender. Now, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you do use a business email address do not use a Gmail or your personal Gmail account. Use a business account or email address. This way it does seem that you are actually a professional that is talking to the people and not just someone. You know what I mean? And also adjust the name accordingly to become something that is um, more professional. Again, it's, it's just give it your real name or your business voice or whatever it may be that you want so we just adjust the sender accordingly uh, and just click on save after you're done and this is just going to be basically step one of um, these setup things that we will need to set up basically so next we will need to check our recipients uh, now for this we can just go ahead now these steps look step one step two and step three you will need to go ahead and actually do them every single time. So those are going to be some th or elements that you will need to change for each specific campaign uh, that you will create. Uh, but for the design is where we will be able to create the template, but those are necessary. So for the recipients, you will need to click on add recipients and add the type of people or the segments or whatever you want, the list of people that you want to add in here. So we can just go ahead and uh just check all options here for these and also check all options here for those and that's it so basically just you know select the recipients that you want to send it to so with this i'm just going to go ahead and click on save there are always advanced options by the way so if you want to select don't send to you can also do so uh and conditions and stuff but i'm not going to go through that right now 
So click on save after you finish up with these senders. And then we go to the subject. For the subject, it's very important. So we just go ahead and add subject. You will need to add two things, the subject line and the preview text. Those are go sorry, those are going to be the first two things people will actually see with then their emails. So make sure that this is going to be very professional and suitable. Um, and yeah, we just type example because this is an example, right? Uh, same goes for the preview text here. Same goes here. So make sure that these two are very, uh, just take care of them. Okay. Make sure that they actually uh, like match what you are going to be talking about and also do it professionally. Uh, with that being said, after you're done with this, you can just go ahead and click on save. I believe you can also use AI to help you with that. Uh, anyways, it's not necessarily our problem here. Next. Uh, and finally, we have the design here is going to be where we will be able to actually create our template. Uh, click on start designing and now it's actually going to show us some templates to select and um, edit basically. So here, obviously, we do not have our template yet and we are just about to create it. Uh, after you create, you should be able to actually find it in here. Uh, but we can just go to the template gallery, see one that we actually like. Um, for example, this one, I'll just preview it, see if I like it or not, you know, just preview the template and we can just go ahead and if we like it, we can just use template. Uh, and now basically they will send you to the Brevo, um, uh, editor here. So you go ahead and edit this entire thing, this entire section or, um, email to exactly what you want it to be. So let's just do a little change up here. And by the way, if you don't know, Brevo's builder is very simple and easy to use. You just go ahead and click on whatever you want to change and you will have the settings for that specific thing on the, the left side. So you can just actually change uh, your stuff here. For logos, you will need to actually set up your brand. So I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, here you can change the background. You can change the background color to be, for example, if you want the entire thing to be black, you can actually go for that. Now I, I kind of want to do something that is going to be unique a little bit just so we remember it. Because, you know, after at the end of the day, I'm trying to save this as a template so you can see that you can actually go ahead and use it again later on. So I'm just going to do some random colors here just so you can, you know, remember this section and website. So just remember, we've got this random email now. So just take the time, edit this entire uh, email to your liking. And once you're happy with it, we can actually go ahead and uh, save. Now, what's going to be the difference between saving and actually creating your own template is this option right here. If you click on the three dots on the top right, you should find save as a template. If you click on that, we can actually go ahead and give it a name. So we just do um, my uh, template. Sorry, there you go. And save as template. And now we can just go ahead and save and exit. We don't really need this anymore. Uh, and now it should be done. It actually should be done. And we have our template saved uh, and we can just use it whenever we want to use it. Um, so if we just not edit this, if we can just go back. There you go. Okay. So we can just go ahead and reset design. Confirm. Uh, we start designing. If we go to my templates, it should show up in here. Okay, so it's not showing up. Oh, is this the? It's. I think I believe it's this one. Hold on. I guess the preview is not working. Okay, there you go. Uh, for for a second, I just didn't load, but it did load. But the preview is not loading. So we just make sure that the naming is correct and that you name it exactly what you want it to be. This way you find it much easier, even if the preview does not load for some reason. Uh, but you should see that you already have your templates now. So basically, instead of actually going to design it over and over again, you can just go ahead and always use it. Just edit a few things out, change the text, and you should be good to go. Save it, quit, and just 
go ahead and use this email template that you have just created. So this is pretty much how to create your um, email template with Brevo. It's very easy and simple. It doesn't really take uh, much. It's just always remember at the end, after you finish designing, you just click on the three dots, save as template, give it a proper name. And it's actually just going to save up and you can always uh, go ahead and use it now. So I hope you liked this video and um, this is pretty much it. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching.